Okay. After finally putting one in the win column last week, the Vancouver Legion will look to add another win today in front of a raucous home crowd at Canada Field. However, the task will not be easy as they welcome in the high-scoring, high-flying, East-leading Tallahassee Pride. It's East versus West and USA versus Canada, Saturday night in prime time on the SFL Network on Twitch.tv. Good evening, everyone. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Michael Trillo, joined in the booth today by James Richards. Good evening, James. Good evening, Michael. I tell you, man, we've been apart for way too long. I can't wait to do this game with you today, though. We've got the Legion trying to get their season back on track. The Pride looking to continue their dominance. We're going to go down to the field for the coin toss. What are you expecting for today's game, Michael? Well, it's gonna. I think it's either going to be a complete blowout or very close. I don't see there being kind of a middle ground here. Yeah, you know, I got the privilege to talk to Andy before the game, and he said, if we can stop the pass game, we're, we've got a real good shot at winning. And, you know, that's pretty much the bread and butter here for Tallahassee. So I think if, if, uh, if uh, Vancouver can get the, get the stops that they need, and then put points on the board. I think we've got a real good shot to see an upset here. Bex Kickums kicks the ball away, and it's game on here in Vancouver. Returned up to the 25, 30 running left side is number 18. All right, that's not number 18. That's Billy 15? Joe Black, number 15. Billy Joe Black, 15. Carries the ball up to the 33, 33 yard line and. That is where Christian Christensen will lead the Tallahassee offense onto the field. Christensen under center on first down with two backs behind him. Two receivers left and one to the right. He'll hand it off up the middle on first down. And reaching through the first level on first down is Caleb Conley, the fullback. He's going to get 15 yards and a first down up near midfield. Yeah, and that looks to be a sign that Pretty Boy Frank has done his homework as well. That's a veteran move. They have a star contract fullback, folks, and right there he just gashed the Legion for about 13 yards. First down and 10 from the Tallahassee 47. Three receivers to the left of a shotgun Christensen. He'll drop back to throw. No pressure. Dumps it short. That pass is complete. Up to the 47-yard line. Gain of six. And that pass went to Duke Wilson, his first catch of the day. No, excuse me. That was uh, the non-contract player, Wes Turner. Let's run you through the Tallahassee Pride offense. The quarterback is Christian Christensen. The running back is Jay Eniola. The fullback is Caleb Connolly. The wide receivers are Duke Wilson and Ken Gossett. As this ball goes to Connolly, and Connolly gets back to the line of scrimmage after muscling his way past four blue shirts. Yeah, we're getting a heavy dose of Connolly here early on. Jay Eniola yet to get one carry here, and we haven't seen a single pass to the league's leading duo receivers. So, Three receivers right, one to the left. Christensen under center on third down and four. Good pocket for him, and he's going to launch one to the far side, and that is broken up. Big Eight. play by Major Key out there, the cornerback. And it'll be fourth down. So I won't run you through the Vancouver defense just yet. We'll wait till they're back on their next defensive series. As Howard McCoy for Tallahassee gets ready to punt it away. You know, if Major Key and Jaquarianarius Dontra Matrix, wow, that was a mouthful. If they can play, you know, uh, the wide receivers for Tallahassee, both Duke Wilson and Ken Gossett, if they can play them straight up all day, it's going to be a long day for Tallahassee. Beautiful punt. Good night. That is a gorgeous punt down at the two-yard line. <coughs> Howard McCoy getting it done early. And the Vancouver Legion, led by quarterback number 16, Tom Pepper, will get the ball inside their own five in the shadow of their own end zone. Besides Tom Pepper, the running back is number 49, Jonathan Sanchez. The wide receivers are Jeremy Vega, Brett Killian, and Trevor Farrell. And the tight end is Christian Carr. That's the Vancouver offense. 
Under center goes Tom Pepper. He'll hand off left side to Sanchez on first down, and he gets a hole up to the 10 and up to the 12, and he'll stretch over the pylon for a first down. Yeah, Jaquarianarius, Danta Matrix there coming up, delivering the hit, uh, bringing down Sanchez after a great run there. Oh, I think I, excuse you've, me. You've got I, the wrong roster there. Anthony Wayo with the big hit on Sanchez. My bad. Whew. First down and 10. Sanchez gets it again, gets a lane, and then gets about three yards up to the 15-yard line. For the Tallahassee defense, the safeties are Alex Bond and Anthony Wayo. The corner is Michael Sprouse. The defensive ends are Tyquan Hale and Kevin Bain. And the defensive tackles are Hunter Norwood and Mike Johnson. <coughs> on second down and seven, Pepper is under center. Two receivers right, one to the left and two in the backfield. A four-man front for Tallahassee will bring the pressure. Good pocket and oh, down he goes! The nose tackle gave way as it's the first sack of the game for the Pride. Hunter Norwood got in there and brought down Pepper. You know, a lot of people have been talking about Mike Fats Johnson, and rightfully so. But with that sack, Hunter Norwood, I believe, takes the sack lead from his teammate. So he's having himself quite a rookie year as well. This tandem, I think, Andy, the, the success for Vancouver, they got to keep it on the ground. They got to keep it away uh, from this fearsome Tallahassee pass rush. Well, they're going to have to force to be th uh, throw on third and 14. That ball's tipped up into the air and almost caught. Brett Killian almost made a spectacular catch on the football. Sprouse batted it away, and it's going to be fourth down and a long way to go, and it's going to be a punt from Vancouver. Yeah, it's tough here. This is We knew as soon as that ball got down on the two-yard line that they were going to have to work themselves out, and it looked really good. It looked really promising. Sanchez busted off a few big runs there uh, to move him out, but that sack uh, really derailed. Uh, the Vancouver Legion's drive. They're going to have to put it away, and this they're going to give a potent Tallahassee offense the ball on in their red in their uh, their side of the field. Just Kingston got that punt away from his own end zone, and there was no real return, but the ball will start inside... <coughs> excuse me, inside Vancouver territory at the 43. Let's run you through the Vancouver defense since we didn't get to the first time. The safeties are Josh Banner and Mahmoud Ajalani. The corners are Major Key and Jaquarinarius Dantzimaterix. The linebackers are Marquise Reed and Frank Champion. Christensen gets the ball on first down, throws out to the near side. That pass is complete to 84. That's Ken Gossett, and he'll pick up six yards. Yeah, I think if you're Tallahassee, you have to get vancouver to push up on your on your star receivers with these out routes like they're doing you'll then see vancouver start to move up in a press position to try to take it away like they are right now and that's when they're most susceptible to the passes over the top three receivers far side as christensen gets a good pocket he goes to the corner and he's got a man to the five and down at the four yard line great catch by duke wilson and he almost had the first score of the game yeah as i was saying michael the corners are going to press up, and that's when they're going to be most susceptible. Duke Wilson, beautiful corner out right over uh, Major Key there. Good job by Major Key to chase him down. That's You got to bend, but don't break if you're the Vancouver defense here. He got burned on that one. And now into the SFL presented by APM Music Red Zone for the first time today go the Tallahassee Pride. Two I wish... receivers to the right, one to the left. The chat says I'm Tony Romo here. I wish I looked as good as him. And Christensen hands it off. And the, it's a score. Put it on the board. Caleb Connolly finds the end zone. Yeah, it looks like Tallahassee said, you know, they're going to they're gonna key in on Eniola. Let's just hit him up the middle with our star fullback here. And Caleb Connolly is not making Frank regret it. Nice run for that young man. 6 nothing, an extra point coming up. The first attempt for Richard Douglas. As Douglas waits a long time for the snap. It finally comes. There's the kick. It is good. Gotta so with 6.30 to go in this evening's first quarter, 
It's Tallahassee 7, Vancouver nothing. Game's gone on so fast, I haven't even really got to my keys to the game yet. For Vancouver, when they're on offense, they got to get Jonathan Sanchez to the second level past the Pride star D lineman. I have a note here that says Ash Odom had decent success with this last week for Queen City. As the kickoff is returned from the 10 up to the 20, up to almost the 30, but down to the 29, is number 23, Mahmoud Ajilani, the free safety on kick return duty. Yeah, on that previous no, Michael, you already see, you know, Tallahassee look, or not Tallahassee, excuse me, Vancouver already looks a little similar in their run game to what Queen City does. You know, those powers and power O's, very reminiscent of Queen City and the, and what they did on their championship runs. Two backs to either side of a shotgun Pepper on first down from their own 29. Pepper forced to roll in the pocket, throws on the run. That pass is into the Vancouver bench. And it'll be second down and 10. Yeah, good good uh, decision to get rid of the ball there by Tom. Rolling out of the pocket is not a strong suit of his. Uh, he wants to sit in the pocket. Unfortunately for him, this is not the D-line that you're going to be able to do that with uh, for most of the day. So, For the key to the game I have for Tallahassee on defense is they've got to try to make the Vancouver offense one-dimensional. They've got a very good balanced attack. Taking that away is going to be a key to a Tallahassee victory as Sanchez goes up the middle and gets three yards before being pushed back by the linebacker core of the Pride. Yeah, I think uh, a, a lot of their success is going to come on the ground. If they can get these uh, zones, powers, power O's off uh, and really run away from the strength of the Tallahassee defense, they'll find a lot of success, I think. Challenging this secondary, probably not their best bet, though. Five wide with Pepper. He's going to throw over the middle. That pass is complete across the 50-yard line into Tallahassee territory. Brett Killian makes up for his drop earlier as he picks up a huge first down for the home team. Yeah, it looks like a breakdown here in the cover three. He just gets between the DB and the free safety there. You see Wyo coming down underneath to try to make a play on the ball. Um... But that's, you know, that's not going to help when the, the post route's going over your head, so. First down and 10 from the Tallahassee, 38 for the Legion. Tom Pepper under center with two receivers to his left. He'll hand it off to Sanchez on first down, gets a good head of speed, and gets seven yards off the right side before he's brought down by a host of white jerseys. I really think I really think the power game is gonna work well here for Vancouver. That's how I would attack this defensive front here. I would run the powers all day. I'd pull away from them, and so far we've seen uh, Sanchez get well over 25 yards on these power plays. Offset eye with uh, on sorry second down and three, and Sanchez is gonna pick up the first down, all the way up to the Tallahassee 23 yard line. Good hard running by Sanchez. You know, and this is kind of dual purpose, Michael. They, one, they get to move the ball, you know, and, and I don't think they're going to have a lot of success throwing the ball uh, this game, but I do think that there's a lot of room for them to run outside of the tackles, and it's kind of dual purpose. It keeps this high-scoring Tallahassee Pride offense off the field, and that's, that's probably my biggest key to the game here uh, for Vancouver. Five wide on first down and ten. Pepper goes to the near side to the out route and gets five yards with Brett Killian who slides on the wet turf and gets out of bounds. Interesting, we saw a five wide set there from Vancouver on first down. Interesting there because you think they're going to run it. Yeah, I think early in the, the downs you'll see Vancouver run it more times than not, but Andy did say that they were preparing. Sanchez, oh! Oh, wow! He got blown up in the backfield. 59, the non-contract linebacker Danny Atkins lay in the wood. That was terrifying. To see a non-contract uh, player do that, that's absolutely terrifying. And if you're if you're uh, Vancouver here, you have to say, come on, Sanchez, you got to truck that guy. But whew, not that time. Third down and six. They spread it out five wide again. Pressure coming for Pepper. He gets the pass away. It's to the end zone. He scores. Put it on the board! 
Vancouver answers through J Jess Kingston? The punter? That can't be right. Yeah, we just see Frank sending a DB there that time. Yeah, that's got to be a Ross error. Uh, that, is, that... that is not the, the punter, folks. Okay. Yeah, but uh, Frank sent the extra DB there. They were sitting in a dime, I believe. They sent the extra DB on the outside blitz. That left a pocket right there uh, in the center of the field. And these post routes, when you send pressure and you're not allocating resources to defend the middle of the field, that post route will kill you every time. And Vancouver making them pay for sending that extra rusher. Uh, they... Bex Kickhams puts the uh, extra point up and through with 3.40 to go in the first quarter. Vancouver 7, Tallahassee 7. Number 17 on the offense is Trevor Farrell. That's a late roster number swap, so we'll know that for next time. You know, I honestly don't think Frank needs to blitz. You know what I mean? Like, you've invested so heavily in that front four that I think, I think you just mix and twist, let them do their work. And let them earn their paychecks. I think that extra defender was unnecessary and it definitely left them vulnerable. Uh, and Vancouver took advantage of that. Good return by Billy Joe Black. A spin move helping him get up to the uh, Tallahassee 30 yard line. I believe, he re I believe he replaced Brett Killian. Am I, am I correct? No, because Brett Killian's still on the field. He's made a couple of catches tonight. Long drop for Christensen on first down. He's got to air it out to the near side. Wide open behind the defense is Duke Wilson. Oh, excuse me. That's Ken Gossett. Ken Gossett. Wow. Yeah, right there. It looked to be a cover four breakdown. The corner's not getting back. And Ken Gossett wide open on a fade route. And you're going to have to chase him down. Anytime the DB's caught in their back pedal. And this is this is the weak part about the cover four, right? When they're running the out routes, the cover four is great. But as soon as they start running fades and flies on you, and your guys are in a back pedal and they have to turn their hips and chase it down, you're in a lot of trouble at that point. All the way down to the Vancouver 21-yard line. Now Tallahassee has a first down and Christensen will go under center. He'll drop back to pass. Plenty of time in the pocket comes short. And it's complete to number 82. That's the tight end Jason Stackhouse and Tallahassee are into the SFL presented by APM Music Red Zone. Second down and two now for Vancouver. Offset eye behind an under center Christensen. He'll give it to the fullback Connolly. Connolly barrels forward, trucks a man and gets to the six yard line. And the clock continues to run. Just about two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Yeah, they're gonna keep uh, they're gonna keep milking this cow apparently, and Connolly is not gonna let them down. They haven't had a lot of success with Jay Eniola throughout the season, although that's not their bread and butter. But today, today Connolly has been putting up the yards. Four wide on first and goal from the six, and that passes out to the edge and caught for only three yards. It'll be second down and goal from the three in the go-up tempo with the same formation, three receivers right side. Christensen, pocket collapses. He throws to the end zone. Is picked off in the end zone. Wow. That was a huge play there for Vancouver, and I'm confused as to why he chose the corner route when that same route pattern, the hook out that he had on the right side of the screen, was sitting under the cover three. But instead... Instead, Chris Christensen decided to, you know, challenge the cover three for whatever reason, and it ended in an interception, and Vancouver taking over here on the 20-yard line. They'll start five wide on their own 20-yard line after the pick by Dante Materix, and Todd Pepper's under all sorts of pressure as the offensive line went out to lunch, and it's a sack on first down. Yeah, it looked like all three star d lineman if it wasn't going to be him it was going to be one of the other two got through i'm not sure what happened definitely a breakdown but they just blew right past the offensive line there go back to a more heavy set here on second down with two receivers left and a tight end pepper will throw flares it out short to the far side as 
Uh, getting back to the original line of scrimmage and falling forward for two more yards after that is Brett Killian. It'll be third down and eight from their own 22-yard line. Yeah, if Andy and the, the Legion can convert here, I would really like to see them go back to this power run style. Uh, this These kind of formations, unless they're quick hitting routes, are not going to favor them against this front four for Tallahassee. Another third down and long, another empty set for Vancouver. This time the blitz comes again, Pepper throws it out, and there's a wide open Brett Killian, 40, 35, up to the 32 yard line. The teams are trading big plays back and forth all over Canada Field tonight. Yeah, be beautiful route here by Brett Killian. He gets behind the cover three here on a corner route. And again, folks, anytime your cover three is pressed up or even at a, a medium distance, instead of being dropped back, you are very susceptible to plays like this. And Brett Killian ran a beautiful corner out, and Tom Pepper put it right on the money. First down, Vancouver Legion. They came on the blitz again, just like you said. I don't think they need to blitz, and it, they found the open man. Yeah, these are real dangerous. You see how these corners are pressed up here? Um, and then, yeah, they're shallow routes. Pepper and to throw, them. Pepper complete. Across the middle, 20 up to the 16-yard line. First catch of the day by the tight end, Twiston Carr, and it, Vancouver driving all the way into the SFL, presented by APM Music, Red Zone. Yeah, so right there we saw an AX corner post route, and Tallahassee was sitting in the cover too there. And what happened was those corners came up and pressed, and they were covering the flats, and then the corner and post route just went right over their head. We have reached the end of the first quarter. A lot of big plays, but not a lot of scoring. It's 7-7. You're watching the SFL presented by APM Music on Twitch.tv. Stay with us. It's going to be a great game. First down and 10 for Vancouver at the 16-yard line. Pepper under center. Two receivers left, one to the right, and two in the backfield. Pepper throws near side. That's complete to Killian. He'll step out of bounds after a gain of six up to the 10-yard line. Yeah, now we're starting to see the, the other end of the spectrum out of the Tallahassee corners. Now they're sitting back on their heels on a cover three, which I don't necessarily think is the wrong uh, situation now that you're here in the red zone. Make the, the, the passing windows much tighter for Pepper. Um, but uh, now we're going to see him. It looks like a cover two here. Same formation as the previous play. Long drop for Pepper. Pocket collapsing. He steps up. He throws to the end zone. And he scores. Put it on the board. It's, again, Trevor Farrell, his second touchdown of the game, and Vancouver leads. Yeah, we just saw the cover two get beat again. If your corners are going to press and your, your star D linemen are not going to be able to break through, man, he had two defenders on him, and he went up and took the ball away. You saw Wyo there. You saw the number one corner. The number one corner got beat, but, man, he just went up and made a great play. Max Kickham's going to try and put Vancouver up seven, trying to pull the upset and get on a winning streak for the first time this year. Yeah, and on that note, let's go ahead and take a commercial break. Yep, we're going to take a break. Ten, ten seconds station identification. You're watching music. the SFL it on Twitch.tv. the official TV. theme music provider of the SFL. Listen to their Champions Will Rise soundtrack at apmmusic.com today and search through thousands of tracks to boost the quality of your stream just like us. APM Music, production music library and custom music house. All right, that kickoff was returned back to the 27-yard line as... Tallahassee will try and fix their mistakes from the last drive and try and tie up this game here. 10.40 to go, second quarter. You know, I think if you're Chris Christensen here, you just take what Tallahassee's going to give you. There will be moments where you get them in a cover four or a cover two, and that's when you can go to Gossett or Wilson. But until that happens, just keep checking it down and wearing them out. First down and 10 from the 27. Christensen under center, drops back, throws over the middle. That's complete and behind the defense again. Past midfield up to the Vancouver 46-yard line. Ken Gossett, great catch, his second big one of the game. 
Yeah, interesting cover three setup there. We see number 20, uh, Joshua Banner, the strong safety. So what happened was this is a cover three where the free safety comes down and covers and the strong safety rotates over top. Not one of my favorites. Those generally aren't your cover safeties. And that time Vancouver got burnt. Bunch formation to the far side. Christensen will throw that way and he's got a man open up to the 20 and inside to the 19. That's Ken Gossett again. Great catch on the sideline there. Yeah, we're seeing the cover four here. Not not being real effective here uh, for Vancouver. The good news is they're bending, but they're not breaking. You saw number 35 there. Uh, Donta Manetra. Oh, man, that's going to kill me. Anyways, he chased them down. The made a great Quirinarius Donta Materix. Donta Materix. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> First and 10 for Tallahassee in the SFL presented by APM Music Red Zone. It's a throw to the near side for three yards. That's complete out to uh, Trevor Swain, the non-contract wide receiver. <clears throat> Second down and seven for the Tallahassee Pride in all white tonight except for their helmets, which are purple, and their socks, which are also purple. Christensen over the middle. That pass is complete in traffic. Great catch by Wilson. He gets a first down and more up to the seven-yard line. Yeah, this is exactly what Tallahassee has to do. Just take everything underneath. And when you finally catch Vancouver in a cover four or a cover two, knife them over the top. The zones get smaller. Everything gets tighter down here inside the 10-yard line. First and goal from the seven for the pride. Last time they got down here, Christensen threw a pick. This time he goes to the far side, to the two-yard line, and falling out of bounds was Ken Gossett. He couldn't make the turn. It'll be second and goal. How about this prediction? I think they're going to give it to Connolly here. I just got a gut feeling it's going to be a Connolly that, run right up the middle. That that might be true. See a good shot of Dante Materix. He's played well this game. Well, not going to be this play. There. They're in a passing set with three receivers to the right side of Christensen, one to the left and one to the backfield. Christensen drops back, throws near side to the corner. It's tipped and incomplete. That was Great play by Major Key. Almost an identical play to what they ran last drive on the goal line, except this time uh, Christensen was challenging the second receiver, which was on the right side of the screen, running a corner route. And, folks, when they're sitting in cover three on the goal line, it's not going to go well for you. This time they're in the offset eye with only one receiver each side. Looks like they might try and run it here. Third down and goal. Christensen to throw. Flares it over the middle to the back of the end zone. And it was incomplete. He made the catch, but he couldn't keep the feet in bounds. That was Ken Gossett again. Couldn't, couldn't tap the toes. And now on fourth and goal, they've got a decision to make. Take the three or go for six points. And it looks like they're going to take the chip shot field goal from Richard Douglas. Yeah, I think this is the right call, right? Like, you, you don't expect Vancouver to keep this pace up all game. You expect Peppers to make a mistake, uh, you know, challenge the, the corners at the wrong time. So I, I think it's the right call here. Take the points when you can get them and just kind of wait your turn here. And if Vancouver keeps playing solid defense, you know, this is going to be a long game here for Tallahassee. Richard Douglas put that kick right down Main Street. And with eight minutes to go in the first half, it's Vancouver 14, Tallahassee 10. Douglas gets the, gets the ball on the 30-yard line, and he kicks it off. Ajelani uh, returns it up to the 20, 25, running left side, and he gets to the 28-yard line. Little man Michael Sipundi, El Selped, simmer down. Whack, can't pronounce your name, Whacktastic, Volcano 4, Lord Veru, Five Point Syndicate, Banner, and everybody else watching tonight, thank you for tuning in on a Saturday night in primetime.
First down and 10 for the Legion from their own 28-yard line. Deep drop by Pepper. Plenty of time to throw. He goes over the middle. One-on-one -on -one coverage, and the diving catch attempt was broken up. Yeah, Vancouver going back to the well here, throwing these post routes, and they've looked really good. And you saw a great effort there by the receiver uh, to go up and, and make, try to make a play on that. Unfortunately for Vancouver, the free safety was in a good position to make that a tough play. But Killian almost had another big catch. Let's see if they go a little bit more conservative here. Four wide on second down and ten. Miss Sanchez behind an under setter, Tom Pepper. Pepper back to pass. He throws to the far side. That pass is complete and turning up field with nobody around him. Up to the 50-yard line is Tristan Carr, his second catch of the day. Alex Bond had to come up and make the stop from the safety position. So this is gut check time here for this Tallahassee uh, defense here. You know, Frank has put all his money into his D-line and his secondary, right? He's got a, two corners, two safeties. He run, he's running a lot of nickel here, a lot of 4-2, 4-1. There's a lot of openings here when they start chucking on these non-contract players. And so and they then Pepper almost threw an interception that right there. Yeah, they absolutely need this front four to get pressure or Tom Pepper's going to sit back all day and pick apart these non-contract uh, players that are coming in on these formations. That was Michael Sprouse, the cornerback, who almost made that interception on a criminally underthrown ball by Pepper. <coughs> Second down and 10 at midfield. Pepper under center with two to the left, one to the right, and Sanchez behind him. Looks like we got a cover four here. Pepper airs it out. It's picked off. Great read by who is that? 24. Teddy Stokes. Oh, no, it was Alex Bond. Forgive me. Wow, I, no. I can't really oh, see yeah. the numbers. But that was a great move. Alex Bond, the captain here for the Tallahassee defense, they were sitting back in a cover four. And the cover four was played beautifully. The corners didn't get beat. They kept everything in front of him, and when Tom threw that post route across the middle, Alex Baum was right there to make a great play. So now the teams have traded interceptions, and Tallahassee will now drive down the field and take the lead before halftime. Christensen on first down, short over the middle. That pass is complete up to the Vancouver 47 for seven yards. Christensen already up to 182 yards and counting. Pepper not far behind him. Look like Jason Stackhouse on the reception there. Second down and three for Vancouver. From the 47-yard line, still on the Legion logo. Hand off to Connolly, up the middle, and he barrels through everybody wearing a blue shirt all the way up to the Vancouver 38-yard line. How many yards does he have right now? He's got to be over 50, I'm pretty sure. Well, every time they give it to Connolly, it looks like... The defense is not ready for it. They look, it looks like they're ready for the delayed handoff to Aniola, and then he's past the first level before they can shake a stick at him. Yeah, I think if you're San Francisco, this is the offense you need to be watching. You know, Ryan Motes, this is the kind of things you need to pull out of defenses here. First and 10 from the 38-yard line. Deep drop for Crispinson. Throw over the middle. Caught at the 10. At the 5, he scores. Ken Gassett put it on the board. Carving up the Vancouver secondary. Yeah, just flew right by the cover four there. Not a good look for Mahmoud Olajuwani or, or Joshua Banner because he split right between them. And in reality, he just blew right by them. Uh, you know, when you're when you're running that cover four, those those DBs that are dropping back that far, they're the last line of defense. And if if the receivers are getting past the safety, something has gone terribly wrong. And uh, kick is up and good. Tallahassee 17, Vancouver 14, 632 to go in the second quarter. I saw somebody say in chat, how is Kenny not gold yet? Um, according to the website, as of two days ago, he is a gold player uh, with a rating of 67.65. No, ex uh, yeah, no, 
If that's in reference to like Gossett, though, I, th I believe both receivers are uh, gold as well. Yeah, that was Ken. That was in reference to Ken Gossett. Titus Boykins, the defensive tackle, appears to be injured on the play for Vancouver. You see Andy Hamilton there stalking along the sideline. Let's see what happens here. He just gets bowled over there by 67 or 57 Ma uh, Max Childress, the linebacker playing special teams for Tallahassee. You know, coming out on this drive, Michael, if you're Vancouver, you got to be happy with how this game's going. Yeah, you wanted to not let Tallahassee score as many points as they had, but they're not looking bad here. Sanchez had one man to beat, and he got wrapped up by the linebacker. Still made five yards, though, on first down. What a statistic. The fullback is out rushing the star halfback. <clears throat> we, the keys to the game for both of us were, you know, get Sanchez involved, and they really haven't done that yet. I formation on second down, pepper to throw, throws over the middle, tipped and incomplete. Almost picked off there by Alex Bond. He would have been his second of the game. You know, Michael, I didn't expect Vancouver to have as much success as they had in the passing game, and, and I know Frank didn't expect it either, which is why he's sending these these DBs on blitzes because he just didn't expect Vancouver to have this potent passing attack here. Three wide and a shotgun formation on third down and five. Pepper pressured, moves, throws, tipped, and incomplete. It falls to the turf. A couple of Tallahassee Pride members, including Alex Bond again, had a shot at picking that off. And Jess Kingston will come out to punt. Yeah, interesting choice there by Pepper. We saw last time that he got uh, chased out of the pocket. He made a good decision to throw it away. This time, on a third down, facing a fourth down punt, he tried to make a play, and it almost cost him. Oofish87, thank you very much for the five bits. Thank you very much, folks. If you didn't know, you can watch commercials here on Twitch.tv to earn bits. You can watch up to five commercials a day. Uh, and uh, earn your bits and essentially donate to the SFL for free. The only thing it costs you is a little bit of time to watch those commercials. Kenny Stokes on the re uh, reception of the punt takes it back up to the Tallahassee 33, and that's where the Pride will have it. Five minutes, 44 to go, first half. Plenty of time to go, plenty of offense, a lot of fun for us watching. Here tonight on a rainy sun uh, Saturday evening, in Vancouver, three receivers to the left of Christensen on first down. He'll throw that way, way beyond the sticks, beyond the 50, past the 40 to the 38-yard line. Dodds of Materics brings down Ken Gossett, but after another big gain. Folks, you're looking at this and you're saying, wow, they're getting torched. They're not really getting torched here. It's a product of the defense that's being employed here by the Vancouver Legion. These corners aren't necessarily built to be pressing uh really the cover four is their bread and butter they need to be dropping back and so they're just getting caught uh caught in these cover four situations uh frank true shot caller one thank you for the 25 bits good sir two receivers each side on first and 10 for the vancouver 38 airing it out again and this one is almost picked off number 20 joshua banner coming across and knocking that one to the turf and maybe Tallahassee got to rethink their strategy a little bit here. Yeah, you know, I think, you know, and this that's the pros to running a very heavy cover four, uh, cover three press look is that you get a lot of plays like that too. So you, you kind of live by the sword, die by the sword if you're Vancouver. On second down and 10, Tallahassee were one of a stronger set, but they'll still throw. Good pocket for Christensen. He has all day, literally all day, and he still didn't make the pass. Yeah, if you're Jay Eniola, you got to haul that one in. Uh, it doesn't seem like they're going to go to you very often today. Um, you know, you're running back in a pass team, uh, a pass first team. You got to haul that in uh, when they finally call you in. I want to shout out the offensive line from Tallahassee right there. They kept Christian Christensen safe for what seemed like an eternity. 
Yeah, he burnt 20 seconds off the clock just by standing in the pocket. Third down and 10 for the Vancouver 38. Christensen throwing near side, complete to the 10, to the 5, put it on the board, touchdown, Duke Wilson, Tallahassee goes up two scores. Mm. Yeah, the corner route again, beating the coverage here. Uh, Duke Wilson getting behind the, the DB here. Yeah, just blew right by him, uh, then slid right off, poor tackle there. Uh, easy touchdown there uh, for the Tallahassee Pride. Tallahassee. Showing some of the offensive fireworks that have gotten them to the number two in the overall power rankings this week. Only behind the Alaska Storm. Yeah, and I anticipate if, if Alaska continues their dominating, um, you know, pace, I, I don't see the top two changing too much, right? They don't play each other at all in the season. Uh, if they meet, it would have to be in the playoffs. Both uh, both teams are on pace to be very highly seated, so it wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't meet each other until later, second round, third round of the playoffs. So you know, who knows? Uh, but both of those teams well deserving. You know, we we see Tulsa up there in the top five, Sioux Falls up there. You know, a lot of good teams that are playing great football uh, this season. And your old stomping grounds in St. Saint, Saint Louis. Nothing to shake a stick at as well this season as Ajilani returns the ball up to the 28-yard line, and that's where Vancouver will begin their next drive. Yeah, you know, I had the honor to play uh, St. Louis. You know, um, my team, Indianapolis, took them on, and, you know, they, they had a very, uh, you know, it was a tough game plan, right, because they, they have to try to throw the ball against our, our loaded secondary, and, just proved to be too much but hey they bounced back out a win and, and they're uh two and one so they're looking really good and a handoff to sanchez running right side and oh he didn't get anywhere he even lost a yard as uh mike johnson man fats, fats johnson he, he got out there quick fats had wheels on that one like he he's the reason uh that sanchez had to bounce that out even further and then he ended up chasing him all the way down. So that Fats Johnson, we might have to start calling him Speedy Johnson here. Second down at 11 for Vancouver. Pepper under center with three receivers. Stand to the pocket after a short drop. Short over the middle to Killian. Killian gets nine yards up to the 36-yard line. It'll be third down and two. And a good play there on second down. Yeah, Vancouver down by 10 here. I'd like to see them burn some clock, but obviously you got to keep moving the ball. Nothing's guaranteed, so they got to keep moving it. Uh, but if they can burn the clock and go into the halftime, you know, down by seven or even three, that's the ideal situation if you're Vancouver right now. Sanchez took the ball on third down and went through the maze, weaving left and right and left, but eventually picked up a first down out to the Vancouver 41-yard line. First and 10 for Vancouver, just past their own 40-yard line. Offset eye with a receiver, single receiver each side. Pepper hands it off to Sanchez, running left, and oh! Somebody missed a block, and he got drilled after a gain of only three yards. As Titus Boykins, the defensive tackle, will be out the rest of the game. Michael Sprouse made yeah. that tackle. For those of you who don't know, Louisiana Wolfpack, or Louisville Wolfpack, I, uh, excuse me, one of the most dominant teams in SFL history. Uh, Sanchez got up, took it seven yards, third down and three coming up from the Vancouver 48-yard uh, line. The, the, oh, the Wolfpack are in the chat. That's why you mentioned them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they were. I, 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 I thought you had some... Um, some way to tie it back into this game <laughs> no 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 that just i noticed them in the chat literally one of the most dominant teams in the league the only so, reason that the whoa. franchise i'm not sure what happened there on third down and three it looks it looked like tom pepper was in the throwing animation as he got the ball from under look how short that drop is and then he threw it right at the face of jeff eaton the linebacker yeah and... <laughs> that's that's a that's a hot route right there um 
And when that happens, it can get ugly. If if it's wide open, like if they're blitzing or they're in a, in a press coverage, it's dangerous. But when the linebacker's sitting right there, you know, holy cow. That might have been one of the strangest plays I've ever seen in this league. As um, Jess Kingston punts the ball away, taking it to the 15-yard line and up to the 17. Two minutes, 12 seconds to go in the first half here tonight. A lot of offense. A lot of big plays. One interception for each team. It's a pretty even game. Just look at the game. It's pretty even despite the scoreline. Yeah, I think if uh, worst case scenario here for Vancouver, Tallahassee cashes in on another score. And it's going to be an uphill battle for the rest of the game. Three receivers left of Christensen on first down. He'll throw it over the middle. Oh, it's almost picked off. Best case scenario Mark is they Reed. run. Yeah, they run in all slants, and, and Reed makes a pick there. If, if Reed makes that pick, he's gone. That's, that's six points. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, folks, you're seeing the, the dangers here of running all slants, X hots, cover four. You're seeing the whole gamut today. Please take notes, folks. This is a lesson in SFL football right here. On second down, Christensen hits Duke Wilson out to the near sideline for five yards. It'll be third down and five. More manageable than uh, third down and 10 is. Opens up a bit more of the playbook. Yeah, I'm. you know, I'm extremely impressed with both. Uh, both of these teams, uh, they've put together quite a game plan. We've hit the two-minute warning here from Canada Field. We're going to take a short break, take 10 seconds for station identification, and we'll be back on the SFL presented by APM Music on Twitch.tv. And we're back, folks. Thanks for tuning in to the SFL on Twitch presented by APM Music. Three receivers to the left side. An empty set for Christensen. Christensen airs it out. One-on-one -on -one coverage. And a catch is made at the 42-yard line. And Gossett just went man mode and climbed up over the top of Dante Materix to make the catch. These receivers are phenomenal. Ooh. Yeah, one foot, but he got the elbow in. Another big catch by uh, Ken Gossett. There's no reason, uh, no no doubt why these are the top two receivers in the SFL back-to-back. -back. Christensen goes near side. This time he hits uh, Swain, the non-contract receiver. He'll get seven yards. And I think one of the adjustments that Vancouver might make at halftime is switching Dante Materix off of um, uh, Gossett. Because that one-on-one -on -one matchup has just been going the Pride's way all night. Well, I think what they have to do, I don't think anything's going to change. They're still going to run the cover four. and uh, But I think he needs to not be in a press situation because he gets beat every time. Christensen short. That pass is complete. And Eola fighting for the first down. He didn't get there. He got across the 50, but he only made the 49. Needed to get out past the 48. So Jay and Eola not making a very good case for himself tonight. Or at least Dropped he caught it. it that time. Yeah, exactly. Dropped an open pass before. This time couldn't get past the sticks. Third down in inches. Short crossing route. That pass is complete. Duke Wilson took a shot. Well, that was Gossett. Sorry, Gossett took a shot, but it's a first down for the Pride. They'll go up tempo now at the 41-yard line. Christensen to the, in the flat to Eniola. Eniola will go out to the 35-yard line, gain of six. He did not get out of bounds, say the officials, so they'll continue to go up tempo. Waiting for everybody to get set here. Christensen throwing. Throws a laser beam out, and that's complete to the 24-yard line. Kent Gossett makes another catch. And a first timeout used by the Pride. Michael, I was saying it earlier, but if, if, if any of you in the chat watching here, first of all, thank you all for turn, tuning in. We got 56 right now. 
go ahead and spam that on social media for us. Get every we, we need to get everybody in here. But you're seeing the full gamut of plays being ran by both of these teams, the pros and cons. You're seeing them. It's such such beautiful game planning by both sides. Christensen throwing towards the end zone. It's caught. And did he stretch it over the line? No. Duke Wilson had the ball, and all he had to do was stick out his hand over the goal line, and he would have had a touchdown. But he could not do it. Yeah, we see number 20 there going for the pick, Joshua Banner. It's his job, you know, being that deep safety. He's just got to come up and just lay the wood on him. You can't you can't go for a pick like that. You just got to you just got to lay him out. I'm seeing a lot of Connolly calls in the chat. Let's see if they go for him here. Wouldn't be crazy. I could see them going in a heavy set and then trying to hit the corner route though. Christensen will throw. Christensen throws to the end zone. It's tipped and incomplete out the back of the end zone. Frank Champion got the tip. Yeah, to be honest, I don't know if Tallahassee's run-pass ratio is in favor of running the ball this close to the end zone. Like, they're going to have to see Vancouver get into a wonky defense uh, that they think they can exploit with the run game. But until then, I think you're going to see, you know, bombs away here. <laughs> Offset eye. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Christensen will throw on second and goal. He goes to Aniola, who ran the wrong way. Oh, he couldn't corral the pass in, and Aniola ran the wrong way and couldn't get in the end zone. It's going to be third down and goal from the one. Yeah, not Aniola's strong suit. Doesn't really favor him, but, hey, he did a great job to corral the pass. Uh, just couldn't get his feet set and going in the right direction there. Now third down and goal. Offset eye the other way with two receivers to the left. Christensen will throw. Throws. End zone. Did he get across the goal line? No. He didn't get across the goal line. Caleb Connolly made the catch and he couldn't stretch the ball over for what seems like the th uh, fifth or sixth time in the game. Yeah, interesting play call. It's, it's almost like... They were trying to exploit the the cover three that was going to be soft. They you know they've been so worried about the corner routes and rightfully so, uh, but you saw both receivers run hook routes, and it just forced uh, Christensen to check it down to Connolly. Richard Douglas on for the chip shot field goal, and he puts this one right down Main Street. Twelve seconds to go in the half. <coughs> Excuse me, Tallahassee 27, Vancouver 14. This is the SFL Network on Twitch.tv. Now, by my count, Tallahassee has been in the red zone inside the five-yard line three times and has not scored either of those times and still has 27 points. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think Amazing! That, what yeah, it's it's a great sign uh, for a team. A, your big plays are working. B, you know you have faith in your special teams, and they're they're two for two on field goals. Um, you know it's just great work overall, and this is why Tallahassee is one of the top scoring teams in the league. They do just enough on defense to shut you down or or give them some some wiggle room, and they do plenty of work on offense, even though. As you just mentioned, they weren't able to score either time, uh, score a touchdown either time in the in the red zone. Jonathan Sanchez takes the ball, runs it down the middle, and that is the end of the first half. It's the Pride 27, the Legion 14. This is going to be a great second half as the Pride looks to go 4-0. and Stay with us. This is the SFL on Twitch TV. Want to do what I do? Contact me in the DM on Discord to find out how you can get involved with streaming live games, calling games, or breaking them down on the air with our broadcast team. Or help make our production even better by joining our new live stats team, helping our broadcasters shine brighter. We are hashtag loading legends in the SFL.
Follow the SFL on Twitter at SimulationFL on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube and Twitch channels. You're already here, right? Might as well stay tuned. Get league updates on your phone while browsing the internet and make sure you never miss a live broadcast. Thank you for supporting the SFL. We are back here in a rainy and cold Canada field here in Vancouver where the Tallahassee Pride lead the Vancouver Legion 27 to 17 or to 14 at the start of the second half. Vancouver will get the ball first. The ball is on the tee and Richard Douglas is ready to kick it off. We are back underway on the SFL presented by 8PM Music on Twitch.tv Saturday night prime time game. Mahmoud Ajilani returns the kick up to the 33 yard line. Michael Trillo, your play by play commentator. My analyst with me tonight is James Richards. We have a stats man that I want to shout out right now. Cody Hill doing great work for us behind the scenes. Yeah, and really. Vancouver has a first down and 10 from the 33 yard line. Across the league, the, everybody's stepping up doing the stats. You guys are doing great work. Tom Pepper rolls, throws, intercepted on first play from scrimmage in the second half, coming back the other way. Wow. I couldn't see who got that. It looked to me almost like Alex Bond. We'll see here. Yep, it's Alex Bond. He's got his second pick of the night. Tom Pepper threw it right into the teeth of the defense. Tallahassee Pride will now look to extend their lead with 10.48 to go in the third quarter. Christensen gets the ball on first down, throws short over the middle as the pressure was coming from the outside. Pass is complete to Ten Goss Ken Gossett. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Pass complete to Trevor Swain. Thought it was Ken Goss because his graphic popped up. The SFL Week 3 Offensive Player of the Week is under center. With an offset eye and two receivers to the left. Christensen pumps. Now throws over the middle. That pass is complete. Going to the end zone, scores! Put it on the board. Duke Wilson has his second touchdown of the game and the pride are rolling here in Vancouver tonight. Yeah, folks, I think we're seeing the progression system right now not favoring the Vancouver Legion. These corners have done an admirable job for most of the game. But now they're just giving up a little bit too much. You know, the cover four has not been kind for the last several drives here for the Vancouver Legion. And Tallahassee's just going to put it on them now. 
if you're Tom Pepper, I think you just keep slinging it. That's the only way you get back into this game, and you just pray the cover four holds up long enough to get you a few more turnovers. Just keep, just keep chucking the ball, Vancouver. Just keep throwing it. You've had a lot of success doing it today. The extra point is up and good from Richard Douglas. True shot caller with 25 more bits. Thank you very much. It looks like supporting the SFL. Looks like Frank's going to donate 25 bits every time one of his guys throws a t or gets a touchdown. Is that what we're seeing here, Frank? Could possibly be. Well, Vancouver is going to get the ball back with less than a minute gone off the clock. And they're now down by 20 points. And if the comeback has got to start, it's got to start pretty soon. As Mahmoud Ashilani gets the ball to the 31-yard line. Bits for scores. I like it, Frank. Uh, we'll, we'll see how this week goes for Indy. If we put up a ton of points, I, I might not be joining you uh, <laughs> in, that, in that quest. <laughs> I don't know. We still could see 50-plus from Tallahassee tonight. They are on pace. I hope not. I, I hope I hope Vancouver can get the, the cover four uh, figured out, turn this back into a ball game. For Pepper is complete off to the left side. Trevor Farrell makes the catch and gets seven yards on first down. He's got three receptions tonight. And you can see that even though they're not getting sacks, they've got two. The front four for Tallahassee is really making Tom Pepper think twice about throwing the football tonight. Yeah, I think early on the, the game plan should have been to pound it out with Sanchez. But we're, we're kind of past that. Here we go. Here's Sanchez. He gets a first down up to the 44-yard line, and then is stopped by the safety coming up and making the Yeah, honestly, you know, Michael, I think we just got to throw it. Just got to put it up. First down and 10 for the Pride. Three wide, two to the right, one to the left, two behind and under center, Tom Pepper. Pepper will throw. He quickly releases to the left side, and he has Farrell again. This time he gets nine yards and almost gets a first down, but they'll mark him short. Clock running just over nine minutes to go here in the third quarter. Game putting the spotlight on Michael Sprouse, the corner. He's got a 1v1 matchup on the near side, but Sanchez will get the ball on second and one, and he's blown up all the way back to the 49-yard line. The Tallahassee defense, every time Sanchez gets the ball, is putting him under pressure in the backfield, and that time, Kevin Bain came up and made the stop. Kevin Bain just... What a man right there, just blowing up the power before it even gets started. Now on third and three, they're probably going to have to throw. Pepper short drop. Pepper throws over the middle. That pass is complete up to the 35-yard line. And while he's thrown two interceptions today, his favorite target, Trevor Farrell, has made some big catches. Great laser beam pass. There by Pepper as he tries to lead his team back into it. On home field for the first time this season. And the home crowd, as of yet, not being treated to the best of performances by Vancouver. Pepper, short drop, but pushed in the back by his own defender. And he throws another pick. That one was tipped in the air and brought down and back up to the 29-yard line come the pride. Third pick of the game for the visiting team. Alex Bond has a hat trick. Have yourself a day. Yeah, great tip there by the generic linebacker. Tom Pepper was under a, a lot of pressure. He had a man in his face, probably was hit as he threw the ball. And folks, you know, as grim as this is looking for Vancouver, you have to kind of be proud, you know, because for the first two quarters of this game, they really hung in there, and, and it didn't get out of control until the end of the, the, the second quarter there. But Here's a run. Is that the first handoff to Jane and Leoli of the day? I think it is, and he gets seven yards running off the left side. Yeah, pretty good run there, too. Oh. 
on the inter on the uh, interception on the last play, it wasn't that he had a Tallahassee defender in his face. Um, the the nose tackle pushed the uh, nose guard the nose guard into Pepper as he threw the ball. Mm -hmm. And that's what you pay him for, you know, to create that pressure, push the pocket back. Four wide and second and three for Tallahassee. Dumping it over the middle short. That pass is complete. And some yards after catch all the way across the 50 to the 44-yard line. Who was that on the tag? That's Duke Wilson. Yak, 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 yak all the way down the field. Yeah, nice in route by Duke Wilson. There's nobody that's being paid well in that general area of where Duke Wilson caught the ball. And so as soon as he got it, it was just wide open space. Uh, good catch, good throw. First down here for the Pride. Into plus territory at the Vancouver 44-yard line. Christensen has two in the backfield with him, but he'll throw. He'll flare it out to Eniola, turns up field, breaks one tackle, and gets That's out of bounds to the 40-yard line. Oh, sorry, that was Connolly. He's been a busy man today. Except in the red zone. Well, he's got one touchdown. He, he does have a touchdown. He's earned his paycheck this week. I'm sure a lot of the Pride fans in the uh, in the chat are saying, well, why aren't they handing it off to him at the two-yard line? And, yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat. I don't understand it. But it's second down and six from the 40. Hand off up the middle. Goes for absolutely nothing. As Connolly stopped up that time by Marquise Reed. You know, for the time being, and this could change at any point, it looks like the Pride are kind of taking their foot off the gas pedal here. I mean, you're up 20 in the third quarter. It's not inconceivable, but the Vancouver Legion will come back in this game. But the way your defense is playing, I think they are easing up on the gas a little bit. This one, a tip to the air and almost picked off. Marquise Reed making two good plays back to back. It's fourth down and four. Yeah, you know, I reckon if if uh, Vancouver can start stringing together a few stops here, it could be a ball game, you know? Like if, if Pepper comes out and they get a touchdown here very quickly on their next drive or just at all, you know, within this this quarter, uh, you know, we could have ourselves a ball game here, so. Howard McCoy, only his second punt attempt of the game, the first one pinned... Vancouver at the two-yard line. Let's see what this one does. A bounce to the 10, to the 5, and it rolls into the end zone. As uh, whoever it was down there was unable to corral it. 27, R.J. Manley, the corner. Tom Pepper now. 5.48 to go, third quarter. He's down 20 points. Vancouver's got to start putting some on the board right now. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Pepper moving across the line, changing the play with two receivers to his right. They'll hand to Sanchez, and Sanchez breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage and gets four yards. On second down and six, Pepper under center, offset eye with a receiver each side. He'll hand to Sanchez again, and he's blown up in the backfield. Jonathan Sanchez, only 2.9 yards per carry tonight. Yeah, I think Fats. that was uh, Johnson who got on the tackle. Yeah, Fats Johnson, big reason for that. Uh, and really just this Tallahassee uh, pride front four, big reason for that. Now third down and nine. Pepper looking to go to the air here. Pressure coming. He got the pass away. It was caught. Mm. But unable to stay in bounds was Trevor Farrell. And it's going to be another stall drive for the Legion. Yeah, not the play that I would have uh, chosen there. But, you know, sometimes they, they catch those in stride and they turn up field. So... You know, I can see why the play call would be what it was. But as we were talking about in the, the last drive, 
this isn't how you wanted to start um, your comeback if you're Vancouver here. Ball taken up to the 39-yard line by Billy Joe Black on the reception. Uh, the Jets' Kingston punt in Tallahassee will look to bleed more time off the clock here. Well, we'll see. I mean, they're very notorious for throwing out of these formations. So we'll see. Christensen hands it off on first down and up the... Oh, up the middle went Connolly. And Connolly got drilled after a gain of seven yards. Stopped right in his tracks. Yeah, Joshua It's not Banner. easy to bring down a man that big. Yeah, but Banner was a, a heat-seeking missile on that play. And just blew up Connolly uh, after a good run. Second down and three. This time it's Eniola, and he's going to get close to the first down, and he picks it up. Yeah, strong run there by Jay Eniola. Showing the quickness, outrunning the defense there, getting to the first down marker, putting his foot in the ground, and just inching ever so slightly over the first down marker. Good run there by that young man. Three and a half minutes to go, third quarter. Tallahassee 34, Vancouver 14. Tallahassee's got a first down and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Christensen moves to the pocket under pressure, but he completes the pass over the middle in traffic. Ken Gossett all the way up to the 36-yard line. Another big catch for him tonight. Yeah, you know, I'm not really sure what to do here. You know, if you're the Vancouver defense, they get pressure. Perfect play calling here by Tallahassee to run the slant routes. Ken Gossett over the middle. He's got about a million catches today. Third, uh, sorry, first down and 10 as the clock ticks down to under three minutes to go. Offset eye, two receivers right, one receiver left. Christensen hands to Eniola. Big hole up the middle, dragging a defender up to the 22 yard line. And if he beat that defender, he could have gone all the way. Yeah, strong run. Good play call. Again, this is. Exactly what they need to be doing is just milking the clock here, but you know they're actually moving the ball too, which is a, an extra bonus. Danny yeah, Ola, after we were ripping on him for two and a half quarters, he's stepping up and making some big plays. Now Christensen throws to the end zone, tipped in the air, and incomplete. It was intended for Duke Wilson. Yeah, great defense there by Mahmoud Olajuwani and Banner uh, covering over the top. Uh, Banner was responsible for the deep post route, and uh, Ajuani was in charge of making contact with the defender. They played that duo uh, very well. Second down and 10 from the 22 with 2.22 to go. It's not funny how that works. Handoff, Eniola up the middle, fights through the first level of defense, and then wrestled to the ground by... Um, Marquise Reed. It'll be third down and six. Clock continues to roll. Two minutes, five to go, third quarter. Yeah, good note here by CB Hamrack 25. He says, remember, Eniola is fresh legs. And he's he's absolutely right. They've thrown the ball so much this game. that And, and then when they didn't, they gave it to Connolly. Christensen, end zone intercepted. He threw it into double coverage, and that ball was picked off by Joshua Banner. Yeah, the post route right into the cover three. Joshua Banner undercutting the route, making a great play there. It's it's always tough as you're getting into the red zone. It's it's very tough to continue to run the post routes, the slant routes. The field's just so compressed, and we see them get punished here. And here we go. If Vancouver can score, then, you know, here we go. You know, the, the ball's moving. Let's go. Let's see it, Vancouver. Let's see what you got. Second interception of the day for Vancouver. Second interception of the day in the end zone for Vancouver as Tom Pepper throws on first down. And that pass is complete in traffic. Wow, great catch by Trevor Farrell. Yeah, Trevor Farrell making his name known. Uh, playing huge. He's, he's honestly had a great game. And uh, they're going to need him to really step up big here if they want to claw their way back into the game. Blake Hamrak, Chicago, watching this before his game tomorrow. 
Thank you for coming on in. First down and 10 from the 33-yard line. Pass out to the near side. Complete that's Brett Killian for four yards. I mean, this is this is good. You know, this is they're looking good here. They're throwing nice, uh, crisp routes. They're stopping the clock. This is this is exactly what Vancouver needs to do. Along with Hamrick, we've got Dags 83, AJ Pick 6, Crash Comb, C. Pundy, Banmer, Scout Jerry Pie, Lord Veru, Crazy H2000, Volcano Number 4, Alex Bond, and everybody else watching tonight. We thank you for tuning into the SFL Network as a one handed catch made. And it's going to be short of the first down. Going to be third down and one. That catch was made by Brick Wall. <laughs> Brick Wall, the backup <laughs> fullback. That's amazing. What a name. <laughs> There's some characters in this league. Oh, man. I. Uh... Most of, the, most of the names in this league I can read with a straight face. That one, that one broke me. Sanchez on third down and one. He stretches forward and makes the first down. Tick tock, tick tock. I'd like to see them, you know, go no huddle here. Act like uh, you got some urgency here. Uh, if, if they can get the ball here in, in plus territory and, and get a quick score here, that's ideal. Clock kicking down under 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Pepper, the three receivers and two in the backfield. Now the pocket collapses and down he goes! All the way back at his own 37-yard line. He can't stand the pocket for that long without getting popped, and Hunter Norwood has his second sack of the game. Mm. What a duo both Norwood and Johnson have been. That's the end of the third quarter here from Canada. It's the Pride 34, the Legion 14. This is the SFL presented by APM Music on Twitch.tv. Stay with us. The fourth quarter is going to be epic. I think everybody here in the stadium has got their rally caps on. They're praying to the, the football gods. Well, some prayer to the football gods is going to be necessary here on second down and 18, but that's a great play over the middle. Trevor Farrell almost makes it all up. It's going to be third down and one across the 50 to the 47-yard line. You know, we said Trevor Farrell's got to be huge, and he is not disappointed. He's, he's made plays when he's had to. Uh, you know, he's going to have to be a man possessed here. They're going to, they're going to have to ask him right. to do some Herculean efforts here. Uh, to slay this lion and uh, let's let's see if he's up for the challenge third down and one 10 minutes 30 seconds to go in the ball game and counting Sanchez off the left side he got hit in the backfield and dropped Wow mm. Jane Jamal Carroll the outside linebacker came up and made the hit and it's going to be decision time, and it's going to be a punt for Vancouver. Mm. Here I come, I'm I'm yeah, I think I think you're going to look at that play and be like, come on, Sanchez, you got to break that tackle. But, uh, yeah, great play there by the non-contract linebacker to really put an end to a promising drive there for the Legion. Fair catch called by Stokes at the 14-yard line. And Tallahassee will just look to kill this game off. Everybody in the chat is uh, kind of they're, they're shocked, but folks, the way the AI works in this game, uh, you know, they, they try to make smart plays and sometimes they make some bad ones. But that's that's uh, the difference between AI and AI and player versus player leagues. No back set on first down and 10 from the 14 and swinging it is oh and catch by Duke Wilson down the field. 40, 30, 25 brought down there. And essentially flipping the field from Duke Wilson, Mahmoud uh, Ajilani caught up to him and made the catch to prevent the touchdown. But another big play by a Tallahassee receiver. Yeah, we're seeing closing speed here really kick in because Duke Wilson should have been gone. Uh, but the closing speed on Ajilani 
Uh, really, really saved them there. But, folks, they're, they're driving. And it looks like they're saying enough's enough. We're going to put an end to this game. This drive right Major, here. Major Key got caught looking a little diminished there as he tried to make, go for the pick and missed it. Short flare out of the backfield here on first down and 10. They'll get to the 19-yard line into the SFL red zone as Codley makes that catch. You see there... Christensen over 500 yards passing. That's insane. Numbers don't look that great. He does have three touchdowns, the two interceptions. Uh, but the 500 yards, that's really impressive. Really impressive. 500 yards. Last week, he was uh, 21 of 30 on to 430 yards. As Eniola takes this handoff to the left side and gets a yard, it'll be third down and two. You know, for... I, I didn't think he could top that this week, but he has proven me wrong. Indeed. And, I mean, you got to... Your, your heart has to go out for Vancouver here because the game plan was working early on, right? Well, a jump offside. Free play. It's going to be a first down anyways. The pass is incomplete. Intended uh, for Ken... Ga uh, sorry, for Connolly. And it doesn't really matter. It's going to be first down anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this... This game is indicative of the amount of effort that the Vancouver Legion put into this game. I actually think they had a great game plan. I just think they're one. I think Frank is a is a very smart guy. He's got a, a build that's working well for him. Progression has been kind. He's he's put his team in a great position to evolve and continue to dominate. Where Vancouver here, you started seeing flashes of this build come together in the first half. It's just not there yet, folks. And, and you know, they're going to need a couple weeks to really bring this in. But they're going to look like Vancouver of last season here in a week or two. First down and 10 from inside the 15-yard line going to the end zone. That's a touchdown. Put it on the board. Can gas it again. Mm. Great catch. Great throw. Just if extremely efficient offense from Tallahassee here tonight. Yeah, indeed. Big plays galore. It's tough. You know, this is a tough game if you're a Vancouver Legion fan. If you're a player on the on the team, it's tough. And I and I know, trust me, guys, nobody is uh, feeling this game more than than your owner, Andy Hamilton. Um, you know, and hey, he had a he had a good game plan coming in. It's just the build doesn't match the game plan. So, not yet, anyways. Frank. Extra point up and good. It's 41-14. Yeah, Frank, uh, another 25 bits. Thank you, sir. Got we, You and I both and the rest of us have a long ways to go before we catch uh, Jason. He's up at uh, 1,500 bits. Some people are incredibly, incredibly generous in helping support the SFL. And remember, guys, you can watch free commercials. Free commercials. Click the little triangle next to the smiley face in the chat. A thing will pop up. It'll say Get Bits. You click that, and you just watch commercials. They take about 30 seconds commercial. You can watch five a day. It's free. You know, earn those bits. If, if you can't give uh, monetarily, that's one way you can give back to the league. And all it's going to cost you is uh, a few minutes of commercials. So... First down and 10 for Vancouver. Now just trying to salvage some sort of excitement for the home fans here. Is There's 8 minutes, 23 seconds of counting. As McKillian makes that catch on first down for 5 yards. Second down and 5. With about 8 minutes to go here. Defense shifts. Pepper throws over the middle, complete to Farrell. That's a first down out to the 42 yard line. Now, as uh, referenced before in past casts, and I don't know if anybody in the chat was here last season when I did bad math, I am not even going to attempt to count points that Tallahassee has left off the board tonight. As Sanchez 
gets stood up in the backfield and loses a yard on first down. Well, they, you have to consider the drives where they put up field goals as well. Uh, but I, I think they're somewhere north of about 28 points left on the board uh, or left off the board, excuse me. So, you know, yeah, it, it's been a rough game. And, and that D-line has put a ton of pressure on Tom Pepper all day long. Pepper hands to Sanchez. He has a lane up the middle, and he's going to get 10 yards. <laughs> Reoccurring theme today. I think that Vancouver gets barely not enough yards to move this chain. Destroy it. Sorry there. A combination of Michael Sprouse and Anthony Wyo coming up to make that tackle. Third down and one and an empty set for Vancouver. They're going full ham on this play. Pressure in Tom Pepper's face and down he goes. Loss of six back to their own 45-yard line. Hunter Norwood has three sacks tonight. And that puts him at seven sacks on the season. Yeah, I think he's I think he's the sack leader right now. Uh, he's the sack leader right now. And then Fats Johnson has been the reigning sack leader all season, and he's been player of the week twice on the podcast. And unless he does something huge here uh, soon, it looks like he's going to be dethroned here. Hunt picked up at the 20 up to the 24-yard line there from Stokes. Tallahassee will get the ball back. 5.57 to go. It's going to be a fantastic week of SFL action across both Twitch and YouTube. Tonight, you're obviously watching Tallahassee and Vancouver. Tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Mexico City Aztecs host the London Knights. Demond Simeon on the call for that one. The Queen City Corsairs host the Carolina Skyhawks. Eric Vinson will be on the call for that as Christensen throws deep. That is caught past the 50 to the Vancouver 45. And Gossett, just stop it, man. Too good. He is too good. Mm. Yeah, MVP-like performance here. Tallahassee not calling off the dogs, and they are just letting, you know, the trio here, Wilson, Gossett, and Christensen run wild here. It looks like they're going for 600 passing yards. First down and 10 from the Vancouver 45-yard line. Christensen under center, two to the right, one to the left. Christensen, all day, all day to throw, throws it over the middle, it's picked off! Coming back the other way to the 40-yard line. That was picked by, it looked like, the outside linebacker, Vic Bowers. And yes, it is. <laughs> the two times today that Christensen has had more than, like, 10 seconds in the pocket. One has just been a really terrible throw for an incompletion. And the other one's been a pick. Sometimes the secondary just steps up for Vancouver and they've got the ball back with 5.16 to go at their own 40-yard line. Pepper on first down. Checks down to Sanchez and Sanchez will get two yards running to the right side. Also at 3 o'clock tomorrow, this is all central time by the way, all time central, uh, Tomorrow we have Indianapolis at Oklahoma City with Colin and Rick Northrup on the call. Then at 5 p.m., the afternoon games, San Antonio hosts Houston in an all-Texas matchup with Mike Daggs and Matt Wilson on the call. Offsides from Tallahassee, which will negate the loss of three yards from Sanchez on the run. And the other 5 p.m. game on YouTube is St. Louis hosting Chicago. And Andy Hamilton and Ramos Lynn on the call for that one. Tomorrow in prime time at 7 p.m., Sioux Falls in Tulsa with Cameron Irvine and Stephen Mullinax on the call. And then Monday night, it's Atlanta hosting Alaska. Chris Curtis and Jimmy Stevens. James, which matchup are you looking forward to most on tomorrow's slate of games? And I guess Monday as well. 
Yeah, it's got to be the Indianapolis game, obviously. Uh, you know, we're looking at bounding, uh, bouncing back from the Tulsa game. Um, you know, I did a press conference there. Pepper hit as he throws. Oh, it's intercepted. Intercepted at the 25-yard line, running back the other way is Ira Sharp, the backup safety. They've mm. put the backups in and... Oh, no, that's Wyo. Excuse me, I've been all over the place with these names tonight. Anthony Wyo. It can't be understated how much pressure Pepper has been under all game long. Really, folks, this isn't on him. This is just Tallahassee, you know, doing what they've paid their right. D-line to do, which is get in his face and make him throw. And when you're behind, that's exactly what Tallahassee wants you to do. You know, you're gonna have to take big, deep drops, and you're gonna be you're gonna be in trouble. On first down and ten, up the middle with Connolly, and Connolly will get two yards running straight at the teeth of the blue shirt. I think the game I'm looking forward to most this weekend is uh, Sunday night in primetime with Cameron Irvine, Tulsa at Sioux Falls. Both mm. of these teams, well, Sioux Falls uh, didn't have a great season last year, missed out on the playoffs. Tulsa, new expansion team, looking really strong. I called one of their games a couple of weeks ago. Got a killer secondary. And uh, I think that's going to be a fantastic game, and it's going to go a long way to decide who the real contenders are in that Central Conference. Christensen in the flat, and that's going to go for about six yards on second down. Yeah, you Connelly really makes that catch too. You really have to look at, you know, the top three teams in that conference, and you know it's those two teams right there, and then close behind is is uh, Indianapolis, and then you gotta say right behind them with St. Louis. So I mean, we've got four teams right there, you know, all with you know winning records and just playing tremendous football all the way around. And it's really going to come down to these these tiebreaker games that are that are going to happen that are really going to set this conference apart. So it's a big one. Third down and four from the 44. Handoff. Connolly breaks a tackle and almost gets free. He gets past the 50 to the 48 yard line. Caleb Connolly's been great tonight. Yeah, well worth the money. We don't always see contract fullbacks earn their their wages week in and week out, but I think. You know, Frank's put together quite a game plan to get Connolly involved, and, and he's he's fit the bill. He's he's definitely uh, made Frank look like a smart man by investing there. And so, you know, like I said earlier in the game, this is if you're a, a coach hopeful or maybe you're a team struggling uh, in the SFL this season, look at these two teams. You know, Vancouver did a lot of good things to try to throw off Tallahassee early, and they succeeded. But then you saw Tallahassee make the adjustments, and they just started picking away, picking away. And so you, you really got to see both sides of the chessboard this game, and it's been a fantastic game. And Christensen gets sacked for the first time tonight. I think that's champion. No, it's not. That's Stanley Hudson, the defensive tackle. Non-contract player with the sack. Yeah. It's going to be second down and 14. Yeah, a little bit of a shocker to see Tallahassee still coming out and gunning, but hey, stats are stats. And that'll take us to the two-minute warning here from Vancouver. Tallahassee 41, Vancouver 14. This is the SFL presented by APM Music on Twitch.tv. A Saturday night in primetime game that has lived up to the hype in terms of the offense. Especially where Tallahassee is concerned. Three wide on the right side. One to the left. Drops back throws and incomplete. That's the backup quarterback. Yeah, they did. Well. They put the backups in. So you're about to see now why every team in the league has a contract quarterback. I don't expect these quarterbacks to do anything special at this point. Um... So, Frank has officially called off the dog for Tallahassee. This backup quarterback is number eight, Curtis Young. And he will drop back to pass. Moves to the pocket, hit as he throws, and the ball goes straight into the dirt. And it looks like a bunch of the backup offensive linemen are in as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not I'm not expecting a big touchdown toss here by the backup quarterback, but uh Well, it was quickly a three and out after the interception. And Howard McCoy will be on the punt for Tallahassee. You know, I think if you're Vancouver here, this is the rest of this game is where you start piecing together next week, right? Uh, oh. oh, fumble the football. It's picked up. Going to the end zone. 10-5. He scores. Put it on the board. Kendrick Jefferson, the backup tight end. It's probably the only touchdown he'll score in his life. No, I was wrong again. I was wrong again. It's Deacon Stoudemire, the other backup tight end. The mm. Probably the only touchdown he'll score in his life. Enjoy the moment, young man, and that's the nail in the coffin. I do apologize, everybody in the chat, to getting so many names wrong tonight. It's been a little bit rough. Uh, the rain makes it very hard to see numbers down on the field, and the, uh, the font for the Tallahassee uniforms is not the most legible. I do apologize. <laughs> The extra point is up and good with 1 minute and 40 seconds on the clock. It's 48 for Tallahassee and Vancouver only with 14. And it's gone from salvageable to just a bit of a blowout here, James. Yeah, I agree. You know, it, it is what it is. I mean, you can't really. It's raining. You know, the backups are in. This is going to probably be the sloppiest football we're going to see for probably the rest of the season here with the backups. But if Vancouver still has the starters in, you know, they can really build uh, for next week here and, and maybe get Tom Pepper, you know, some, some stats to, to carry over. Ajaluni takes the ball up to the 30-yard line, and that is where Tom Pepper may have his last chance to make an impact on this football game as true shot caller. Intent, we continue to drain two shot caller of his money, 25 more bits. Special teams touchdown, thank you so much. Pepper moving, down he goes. Uh, apparently that's not the backup uh, because that, my friend, was Hunter Norwood with another sack. Nope, I, I, I think that was Taquan Hale. Oh, he sacked again! I couldn't even correct you and say that. I think that was Taquan Hale, but... <laughs> And that was Otis Givens, the the non-contract tackle. What, what, wow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that sack, though, was Hunter. I'm pretty sure. Was it? All right. Because he's still in the game. He's running around like a crazy man. Right now, he's the well, left defensive tackle. Well, now it's third and 21. Five wide for Vancouver from their own 20-yard line. And going for it. Oh, and he's caught down the sideline. 40. 30, 20, 10, 5, he scores! 80 yards, put it on the board. Vancouver gives their fans something to celebrate about here. Brett Killian scores the 80-yard touchdown. Yeah, so the chat here, they're not wrong. These are the backups for Tallahassee, but number twos. So you have the second defensive end and the second defensive tackle. They get rotated into the number one slot. So you will see Taquan Hale and you will see Hunter Norwood still on the field, uh, but everybody else on the field is a backup player uh, for Tallahassee. Some, some pride for Vancouver here just for the a minute nine to go. They will break 20 points. Pending the extra point, it's going to be 48-21. Yeah, the secondary for the Pride is all backups. They still have uh, two star D linemen in on defense here. So don't panic. Don't panic, little man Michael. Yes, guys, do not post links in the chat. Do not post uh, dot gifts or anything like that. Uh, you will get timed out. The onside kick goes, and it's recovered by Tallahassee. Picked up 
by R.J. Manley. That was Drew Hamilton, the corner there on screen for a second. Haven't called his name tonight. And this is probably the sweetest formation in this game. The victory formation. The victory formation comes out for the pride. They will run Vancouver out of timeouts and then run down the clock. Tallahassee will go to 4-0. Vancouver will fall to 1-3. Yep. Still doable for the for the Legion here. Uh like you know, we keep talking about last season, they had a very similar start. I ended up rallying back and getting all the way to the conference championship game. So it don't uh don't hang your heads, folks. It's one game, it's early in the season. The build's going to catch up to the strategies, and we're gonna see a lot tighter ball games as the season goes on. But uh you know, great, great early game plan here by Vancouver. I really saw what Andy was doing. I liked it. Um, you know, but hats off to Frank. Also, a great, great strategy, and he's really got a nice build working for him. And and he's gonna be hard to stop. So, hats off to everybody. <coughs> At the beginning of the year, when the builds were announced, I, I know a lot of people looked at the Tallahassee build and went, "Can that work? Four star defensive linemen in the in the." You know, not focusing only one corner and and no linebackers. Can this really work? And it is. It's working very well. Yeah, I agree. You know, I thought four D linemen were overkill, but you know, hey, who am I, right? Like it's working. And uh, I knew offensively they were going to be fine, right? Like I I really liked what Frank did with the fullback and the running back, and I thought, man, even if they chuck this ball a hundred times, they're going to have receiving threats coming out of the backfield. And, uh, you know, we haven't even needed to see them because, you know, both Gossett and Wilson have just been lights out. And you got to – hats off to Christensen. He's not made a lot of mistakes. And when he – I mean, he's on pace to have more touchdowns than interceptions. And you, you think about the NFL and you're, you're like, oh, well, that's how it should be. Well, in the SFL, folks, that's kind of uncommon. If you go back in the history book and you look at all the quarterbacks season after season – uh, I would say not very many finish with a positive uh, touchdown to interception ratio. You know, the defenses are too good. Well, we're going to get one more offensive play. Tom Pepper looks to air it out. He's going to the air, and it's caught with 14 seconds left. He's, they're going to move the chains with Brett Killian up to the 24-yard line. James Richards, who is your player of the game tonight? Hmm, that's tough. That's, uh, that's a really tough call, you know. You look on the defensive side, I mean, you got to say it's Hunter Norwood led the game in sacks. Offensively, you know, you, who do you choose between Duke Wilson and, uh, you know, Ken Gossett? Or do you just say we give it to Christensen because he's the one delivering the ball? It, it's a tough call all around. Pepper throwing complete at a penalty to the Vancouver 49-yard line with 10 seconds to go. Brett Killian makes another cat. Um... We'll see what this penalty is. And it's a against Tallahassee for a late hit. Anthony Wyo occurs that penalty. I didn't forget, oh, sorry. Alex. Sorry, all the backups are in. That's Michael Sproul. I didn't forget, first of all. You had a great game. Didn't forget about you. It's just... If you weren't, if we weren't getting all that pressure on Vancouver, right? Like, if you guys weren't in his face hitting him as he throws... I mean, you might not have three picks, so you just have to you just have to look and just say, man, that pressure was the difference, uh, and it really there turned this game upside down. There is actually zero seconds on the clock, and they're still gonna run a play here. They've got everybody hey, home, that can be a advantage. receiver home as field. a receiver. Pepper moving, he's sacked. That's your ball game. The Tallahassee Pride roll north of the border and take this one. 48-21 over the Legion. As Andy Hamilton will walk to midfield and shake hands. Post-game show and the stats are coming up. But for Cody Hill or on stats tonight, thank you so much for assisting our broadcast. And James Richards alongside me in the analyst role. I've been your play-by-play -play commentator, Michael Torillo. Enjoy the rest of week four of SFL action this weekend. We will see you next time.